Hi everybody, welcome back to my channel. So today I am filming my entire luxury handbag collection video. Um, I was thinking about my wish list for this year and I realized that I was very, very content with my handbag collection. And um, I have acquired a few last year. I've sold um, all the other bags and SLGs actually even that um, I haven't been using. And I was just looking at my collection and I realized I have exactly 10 handbags and exactly 10 SLGs left. And I didn't plan it that way, but that's how it is. So I wanted to share that with you. And yeah, like I said, I'm very happy with my collection. So with that said, I'm going to show you the first bag that I have. And it is the Neverfull GM. And it is in the Damier Bean pattern. Um, I do have a luggage tag with my initial on it. And this bag, um, I don't know if you guys, yeah, I did a video. Um, I had this bag from a while back. I think I got it 2015. But um, the bag that I had was having a lot of glazing issues. Like the glazing on these straps were completely just, just havoc on it. So um, I took it in. They replaced the straps for me free of charge, but in the process, they had um, torn holes into the canvas. And so um, they just replaced it with a new one, although I did have to kind of, you know, fight with them. <laughs> yeah, I don't know. I didn't really have good luck with my repairs, as um, if you go back to my videos, you'll find out, but I'm very happy with it. It's my go-to bag when I go to travel and then also when I have to carry a lot of things for my children, this bag is amazing. So yes, I have this one. The next one that I have is my Chanel Jumbo. It is in the caviar leather with the um, silver hardware. And again, with this bag, I did have a recent purchase and return of the um, one with the puffier quilts. I really thought I wanted that. I really thought I did, but after getting it in my hands and looking at it and then comparing it to this one, I realize now that this caviar is the sturdiest and um, it's gonna hold its structure. And like you all commented on my video, this bag is gonna last me a lifetime. So I'm very, very happy with this now and I'm very content. So the next bag that I will show you guys is this one. This is my Palm Springs mini backpack and um, I have been kind of, um, I'm going to be taking this into Louis Vuitton because I've been kind of noticing a little bit of like white dots along this lip and yeah, it scares me. I feel like it's peeling because of the zipper and so I'm hoping they're going to say it's defective and that they're going to replace it with the newer version with the exposed zipper. We'll see what happens, but I will keep you guys posted on that. This little backpack is so, so, so useful. I use it a lot in the summertime. Like it's my go-to in the summer. And then in the winter, um, I live in the Pacific Northwest. It rains a lot. So in the winter time, it's great because it doesn't have any vachetta. Yeah, this is a really great piece. And I don't know if the mini bag trend is ending, but I think I will be keeping this longer i don't care if the trend ends i really love this piece so the next bag that i will show you is my christian dior lady dior it's in the supple grain calfskin with the champagne gold hardware and i just recently did a review on it and you guys know i love 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 this bag i i'm just yeah i i just cannot say any <laughs> I just can't rave about it enough. So this is my one of my favorite, favorite bags from this collection. And yeah, I just hope that they um, they realize how great this calfskin in is and I bring it back because yeah, it's it's really great. The only thing is I, I got this pre-loved and it was like this from the beginning, but this front part is stretched out and it does show a little bit, but you know what? It doesn't bother me. So yeah, that's another one of my favorites. So another bag that I have is this beauty right here. This is my mini rectangular. It is in the um, smaller caviar. Mine is um, 17 C season. It has the edge stitching along the front and it has um, 
yeah, it's it's beautiful. Um, I've always kind of debated whether I wanted the rectangular or the square. I really, really love the look of the square, but I decided to get the rectangular just because of the strap length. Um, I don't know. I might have a longer to torso or maybe it's because I am um, a little bit, you know, on the curvier side. But yeah, the longer strap lengths were better for me. And so I got this and I'm so happy to have this. Um, Chanel is no longer making minis in caviar and they say that it's indefinitely, they may never bring it back. So the fact that I have this in caviar, um, yeah, I'm very, very happy with that. So the next little bag that I have is this little guy right here. It's my Trendy CC clutch with chain. And I just said that I really wanted a mini square. Well, this is square and it's tiny. It's a mini bag and it just fills that need so well. I think it's beautiful, especially with the lambskin and the larger quilting. The larger quilting reminds me so much of the Chanel 19 bag that everybody loves. And yeah, it's lambskin, but I'm not too worried because it's an SLG. It's a smaller bag. It's like a clutch. So I feel like it's not going to show as much. I'm not going to be bumping into things as much. I really, really love this. And yes, this is my Trendy CC clutch with chain. The next bag that I'm going to share with you is my beautiful reissue from Chanel. Um, this one I also got pre-loved. Well, actually, you know what? A lot of my bags I did get pre-loved. Um, but yeah, this one, it was in immaculate condition. It had all the paperwork except for the receipt, but it had like the the just everything it was full set minus the receipt so yeah i was really really lucky to get this at an amazing price um the reissues also the wrinkling on them look different from season to season back to back and i just love how mine looks so i'm very very happy with it it has the ruthenium hardware which makes it a lot um a lot more casual and just yeah this is one of my favorite bags and the size itself because it's the 226 size it's slightly bigger than the medium large but smaller than the jumbo it's much more lightweight than the jumbo and i do use this quite often and i love this another bag that i have in my collection is my gabrielle backpack and i am going to be doing a review on this this i feel like is so underhyped i mean i know it's not as popular here in the u.s i don't know why um, in Asia, it's very, very popular. It's really hard to get your hands on one, but I feel like it doesn't hold its value as well in the pre-love market. Um, but yeah, I did get it at a really amazing price. The condition of it is just impeccable. Like, I can't believe I got it at that price when it's so it's in it's such good condition. And I am going to, like I said, do a review on this very soon. So I will share more about this bag when I do my review. And then I have my pochette batiste from louis vuitton again this bag gave me some heartache and a lot of hardship because it had glazing issues it was basically uh, um, on the corners here where the flap is the glazing was peeling off so um, i took it in they said they were gonna replace i mean redo the glazing which i was fine with but then they replaced the whole front flap but then reused everything else so it looked really weird Anyways, I do have a video on that. If you guys are interested, I'll link it down below. But yeah, this is just classic, I feel. Um, I don't think it's really trendy anymore. It's a lot easier to get your hands on one too. But yeah, I really um, enjoy this bag. However, I do have to say that ever since I got my Lady Dior, I've been grabbing that bag more instead of this one when I do um, want a crossbody style bag. So hmm, yeah, not my favorite anymore <laughs> which i'm very surprised to say so the final bag that i have is my handy dandy speedy bandolier 25 this is in the um like i said 25 size it's the bandolier and um i'm using it right now and so that's why it's like packed full of stuff right now but yeah this is great just when i want to not worry about it because it's it's an older bag. I got this, I think I also got this in 2015, maybe earlier. But yeah, I mean, all the Vachetta is kind of with my, um, with time, you know, Vachetta does get like a protective coating on it. And it's not because you add something to it, but it's just with use. It just does not stain as well. 
as it um, does when it's, you know, brand new. And so I feel like the patina is great on this. I feel like it looks, it looks great um, for its age. And yeah, it's just a carefree bag that I love to carry with me. It's, and even in the winter time, I don't worry about rain on it. Um, I just wipe it off and usually it just, you know, once it's dry, it, you, you can barely see the raindrops. So yeah, that's it. So this is my entire collection. I feel like I'm really content with what I have now. It's, um, you know, like um, there are a couple of bags that I still kind of look and lust after, um, but I'm not really jumping at them because I don't know if I really need them, if, I'm, if it's really gonna work for my lifestyle. So at the moment, um, I have no intentions of adding anything on unless I see something amazing, like an amazing deal on an amazing bag. So that will be the only, you know, only way I would add another bag. Yes, I know it's very basic because I do stick to black. <laughs> As you can see, I do um, love colors. And I've been venturing out a little bit more into colors with my SLGs. But when it comes to handbags, I, I totally am a basic girl. I will just go for the black all the time. I don't know why, but it just looks so much better to me with the black. Yeah, <laughs> I'm not as adventurous as I would like to be. So yeah, I know um, in the future I might, you know, try to get more color into my collection, but like I said, I'm very, very happy with what I have. And yeah, I hope this video was enjoyable for you guys. If you have any questions on any of these bags, please leave them down in the comment section below. And I will see you in my next one. Take care, everybody. Bye.